Hi, in this video I'll be summarising the various astronomical objects that can be found in the universe. Planets are approximately spherical objects that directly orbit a star and that have cleared the orbital path that they follow of any other debris. Uh, there are eight planets in the solar system. In recent years, we've discovered more than 2,000 exoplanets that orbit other stars in our galaxy. A moon is an object that orbits a planet. Comets are mixtures of ice and rock that have very long elliptical orbits around the sun. Their tail always faces away from the sun, regardless of which direction they're moving in. Stars, such as our sun, are large balls of gas that emit vast amounts of energy into space. This energy is a result of nuclear fusion that is turning hydrogen into helium. In nuclear fusion, mass is converted into energy according to Einstein's famous equation E equals mc squared. This means that our sun is losing around 4 billion kilograms of mass every second. All stars are in hydrostatic equilibrium. This means that they hold their shape because the forces acting on them are balanced. The outward gas pressure caused by the high temperature hydrogen and helium is balanced by the gravitational force of the hydrogen and helium atoms acting upon each other. Some stars exist in binary systems with another star. Their mutual gravitational attraction causes the two stars to orbit a common central point. A planetary system is a group of objects orbiting a star, or indeed a binary star system, due to gravitational attraction. We call our planetary system the solar system. A constellation is a pattern of stars that appear close together when viewed from Earth, although they are not necessarily close to each other in space. Stellar clusters are groups of stars. Open clusters contain around a thousand younger stars, whereas globular clusters contain up to around a hundred thousand much older stars. Nebulae are clouds of dust and gas. They're mainly made of hydrogen and helium. This is the Crab Nebula. Galaxies are enormous collections of stars. They rotate in space because all of the stars are orbiting a central point. Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is 100,000 light years across and contains around 100 billion stars. Each of these stars may have their own planetary system. Some galaxies are grouped together into clusters or superclusters that spread across the universe. In between stars in a galaxy, and in between the galaxies, there is almost nothing, essentially a vacuum. Collectively, everything I've described in this video makes up the universe. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe, and visit cowanphysics.com.